Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to create a simple dreamy fantasy photo manipulation and game. Let's begin. Let's create a new canvas in here. Go to file, new and I set to this size. Then hit OK. Import the cloud image in file, open this layer and choose this. You can scale it down by pressing Shift S and hold Control Shift while scaling, or you can hold Shift only like this. And press Enter. Make it straight with Rotate Tool. Press Shift R. Just drag it around here and press Enter. You can move it down a little around here. Next, create some masking in here, so just only the clouds in here. Right click, add layer mask, and choose this white full opacity, then hit add. With gradient tool, click this icon, or the shortcut is G. Make sure you choose the color to default, the black and white, and the black as the active color. And the shape in this linear mode, just click it, and just drag it up, around here and press enter. Let's open up another image for the sky in file, open this layer and just this. Scale it down by pressing shift S and hold control shift while scaling. Press enter. Okay and you can move it around here. Add the boat in file, open this layer, and choose this. Move the layer to the top by dragging and move it to here. With move tool, place it around here. Create some masking again by right click, add layer mask, and choose this white full opacity, then hit add. Click the brush tool, or shortcut is P. Make sure the black color is selected and just brush it. Adjust the board contrast, you can click this and go to color, curves, just turn it down a little. Okay. Then hit OK. Now we're going to add our models in here by going to file, open, and choose this. You see the comfort. This time we're going to use the advanced selection in game. I think it's still the best method how you can cut out the advanced part like this here. Make it desaturate in color, desaturate, and just desaturate again. Click OK. Next, make some contrast with curves in color, curves. Then just turn it down. around here and click OK. Alright now let's invert the color in color just invert. So now we're going to select with Bezier tool because we want this part in our selection the scan. Press B and start selecting from here. Make sure you select the dark area and the face. When almost finished, hold control. You see this chain icon, then click and press enter. Now fill it with white color in edit. Just fill with background color because our background color is white. Deselect it in select and choose none. Click move tool. See our selection. Now adjust the contrast again. You can go to color, curves, and this time we're going to 
make it really dark until you see this black and white color and you can brush this white noise with black color with brush tool click this icon and just brush it to make it clean in the original layer create new layer mask here press ctrl c and ctrl v to paste in here and click this enter down icon so you see our selection is perfectly clean. Apply the layer mask by right click, just apply the layer mask. Okay, let's bring it to our canvas in here. Bring the layer to the top. Press Shift S to scale it down. You can hold Ctrl Shift to make it proportional scale around this. And press enter. Now we're going to hide some part with masking but first you can reduce the opacity to see through it with Bezier tool. Just follow this boat shape. When almost finished hold ctrl then click and press enter. While in selected you can right click on the woman layer at layer mask just this white full opacity then hit it. Active the paintbrush tool. Make sure the black color inactive, then just brush it. Don't forget to deselect in select and choose none. And turn up the opacity again. Add the butterfly in file, open, and I choose this. You see this in one PNG, you have to separate it with Bezier tool, press B. And I start from here. Hold Ctrl, then click and press Enter. Then press Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. Then floating selection will appear, just click this create new layer. This butterfly in one layer. And let's rename it. So I'm going to select this layer and move to the canvas and place it on here. Bring layer to the top so you can see the butterfly and scale it down by pressing shift S place it on here, press enter ok you can adjust the contrast a little in color, curves and just turn it down a little add more butterfly And let's add the bird in file, open, just this. It is in one file, same like the butterfly. You have to separate it with Bezier tool, press B, and start to select this. Press Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste, and just click this create new layer. So I just rename it. Place it on here. Bring it to the top. And scale it down by pressing Shift S. Around here. And just add more. You can flip it with flip tool by pressing Shift F. And just Make sure you choose this horizontal, then click. Okay, and place it on here. Just add one more. Add the glow to the orb. Go to File, Open this layer, and 
just this. You can scale it down by pressing Shift S and hold Control Shift while scaling. Then you can place to the orb around this. Press Enter. And now we're going to change the layer mode to screen. Or you can see my previous video how to make glow effect in game. It's complete explanation. You can watch the video. Right and change layer mode to screen. You can change the glow color in color, hue and saturation. Just make it this yellow and click OK. Next we're going to create the glow affected woman. You can create this new layer and name it glow. With print brush tool, you can change the color to some of this yellow. Right. You can reduce the size and select the woman in right click, all part of selection, and back in the glow layer. Then just brush it so it will affect only to the woman skin. And you can change layer mode to overlay and deselect it in select and choose none. If it's too much, you can reduce the opacity around this. And now the last thing, we're going to finalize the result. Right click on the top of layer, choose new layer from visible. And I usually make some high pass filter. You can go to filter and hand choose this high pass. And change the mode to overlay. And just just it just a little click ok and you can try with these colors let's try color temperature and just turn it down really make a big difference right then click ok feel free you can tweak this setting in here Well done, you have created a simple dreamy fantasy photo manipulation and game. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, keep practicing and explore your imagination. I'm Zeki from Zeki Design, create something good today. Thanks for watching.